Greetings, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you today. Hope everybody's doing well. Again, if you are subscribed to this channel, we are watching for our Lord and Savior, Christ. Titus 2.13, looking for that blessed hope of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus watching on this channel. Again, we are not going to set dates because we don't know when that day is. But we very clearly see that day approaching. We will be watching on this channel until the trumpet sounds at the appointed time. And Jesus comes for his church. Folks, there are many, many, many new subscribers asking me questions about the rapture of this channel. We believe the rapture of the church shake this world to its core. And it's an event that will occur any day now. The rapture. They are being told there is no such thing as the rapture is a man-made doctrine and that it is not in the Bible. We have to understand rapture and the second coming are two separate events years apart. At the rapture, return for his saints as he calls us calls us up to meet him. So Jesus does not touch down on the of all at the rapture. Jesus will return for his saints as he calls us up to meet him at the rapture. At the second coming of Jesus Christ, Jesus will return with us as he touches down on the and establishes his 1,000-year millennial reign. For those of you asking, where is the rapture in the Bible? In this video, that you can very clearly see, the you have to know where to look for it. First, turn with me to the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter reading uh, verse 13 to 18. So the apostle Thessalonica, 1 Thessalonians 4, verses 13 to 18. But I would not have you to be which are asleep, that ye sorrow not. So right, right there in verse 13, uh, concerning them which are asleep, that's referring to those that have died uh, in Christ. So they, when, uh, when you die, your body goes. To be absent from the body is to be present from uh, to be present. With the Lord. So he's referring to those that have passed on, which are asleep. So let's continue. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which sorrow not, even as others which have no hope, and rose again, even will God bring with him. For this we say unto which are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord, them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall them with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive caught up together with them in the clouds to meet them. So shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort. So going back, uh, for the Lord himself, this is referring to Jesus Christ, the King of kings. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. Jesus Christ is literally going to descend from the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God. First, referring to those that have passed on that are already in the Right? Again, when they die, their body goes into the ground, but if absent from the body is to be present with, uh, with the Lord. Their body goes into the ground, but their spirit um, goes to, uh, in heaven. Uh, but the dead in Christ are going to rise first. So, right? Those that are in the ground, in the graves, that are saved, these are going to rise first, right? because they have to Glorified body, so their spirits are in heaven with the Lord. But when the appointed time for the Lord, their spirits in heaven come with Jesus, 
uh, in the clouds. Their bodies rise from the graves uh, to meet uh, their spirits in the air because they have to receive their glorified bodies. So the dead in Christ are going to rise first. Then we, those of us that are alive, the jive, I believe we are that generation that will be raptured. Those of us that are alive and remain, all right, we're going to be instantly transformed and we're going to be caught up to meet the Lord in the air. Now, where do you find this? Well, the Greek word from this term rapture is the Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 17. We just read it together. Then we and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord and the Lord. So uh, the Greek word rapture is derived in 1 Thessalonians 4, 17. Trans the Latin translation of this verse used the word Get rapture. The Greek word it trans means to snatch or to take. Away. On the screen here, uh, the Greek slash Hebrew seven twenty six harpazo, right? Which literally means to seize, to catch away, to pluck, to pull, to take by by force, to snatch out. Actually, in the New Testament, right, you can find the uh, word harpazo is used. You can put it on the screen if you need to go through all this, but I'm going to go through it kind of quickly here. Matthew 35, 4, 10, 12, catcheth them, John 10, 28, pluck them, them. Acts 8, 39, caught away. By four, Second Corinthians twelve two, caught up. First Thessalonians four seventeen, which we just went. One twenty three, pulling them. Revelation child was caught up unto God and. So it's a sudden removal. It's a sudden rescue. It's a sudden, sudden snatching away. So very clearly. The appointed time is coming where the Lord Jesus Christ is going to descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. The dead in Christ are going to rise first. Then we are going to be caught up to meet the Lord in the air, to be with him forever. There's a time coming before the tribulation begins. For those of you that have kids out there, I want you to think of this. If you see your child on the train track, before the train hits, you see a full what are you going to do? You're going to suddenly remove, you're going to suddenly pluck, rescue your child off of that train track before. Likewise, Jesus Christ is going to those that are saved, that have the indwelling Holy Spirit. Rescue us, snatch us away before this full speed train. Next, I want to go to the Corinthians chapter 15, we're going to read verses, uh, verses 50. Paul records the following. Now this say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery, but we shall all be changed in a moment in the trump. For the trumpet shall sound corruptible and we shall be changed for this corruption and this mortal must put on so flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of god bodies so at the rapture right to have new bodies we have to have um incorruptible bodies now we are in corrupted bodies but we we're going to put off these, this old tabernacle is going to be, we're going to be, receive glorified bodies. Um, in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye at the last trump. So when this translation occurs, it's going to happen so suddenly, folks. It's going to be without, when the rapture occurs. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, because we Christ have to rise first. So yes, 
those that are asleep passed on before us that were saved, their bodies went into the ground, but their spirit the Lord in heaven. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Present with the Lord. But when the rapture occurs, the dead in Christ arise first, the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and then corruptible must put on incorruption. And this there are many in the Old and New Testament that talk about the rapture. I research. I just shared with you two of the most popular on the rapture of the church. And it's my prayer. This video has helped some of you out there that have had these questions see it is an event that will occur suddenly. When I look around this world right now, everything occurring, right? That's how I know the rapture of the church is a, is approaching because I see the tribulation period right here, here and right now. And according to scripture, Jesus Christ will hagapadso. He's going to rescue those that are his, those that are saved before the full tribulation hits and sudden snatching away the sudden rapture will occur before the tribulation period begins how close are we I'd say a lot closer than people realize it's an event that is going to occur suddenly without warning on this christ rejecting world and it's my prayer if you're watching this video right now and you do not have Jesus Christ in your life, that you look around this world right now at everything occurring and look at what the Bible says, and you will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. And Jesus is coming back. Come back one day very, very, very soon. This current world and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ. Telling you to get religious. I'm telling you, you can be saved right now as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time of salvation. So, what? Well, the gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Believe. Your belief for your sins, the sin debt that you could never pay on your own full with his blood on the cross at Calvary so you could back to him forgiven of your sins and be with him forever in heaven. Believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. The gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. We all missed the mark. We all The glory of God. And our sin separates us from all. God loves you so much. Down, he would be born of a virgin. He became flesh, was brutally tortured and crucified, and shed his precious cross at Calvary. Again, the sin debt that you can never pay on your own, Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross, so you could be reconciled back to him them forever in heaven that is love my the bottom line is this heaven and hell are very real literal places and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations hell's a torment it's eternal separation from god i don't want you to go there. jesus does not want you to go there but if you die without jesus christ you will be separated from god for eternity in hell and i am going to tell you the truth because i love you the only way to the kingdom of heaven, and he's the only name that can save you. Jim, the way, the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Acts 4, 12. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name in heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. In 1 Timothy 2, 5. For there is one God, and there is one mediator between God and men. Christ Jesus. So the Virgin Mary will not save you. Buddha will 
will not save you. Muhammad will not save you. Dead saints will not Religion will not save you. Your own works, you trying to earn that will not save you. There is only one way to the kingdom of heaven, and it will save you, and that is Jesus Christ and him alone. Get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the Right now, believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day, as it is written in the scriptures. Tomorrow is not promised, and make no mistake about it. As the world right now, and everything occurring, we can see very clearly the rapture is approaching like a full speed train. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Son of God, Jesus, and He's coming quickly, one day very soon, sooner than most of 